Ben, it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. We've got James Harden. Furkan Korkmaz is out there with George Niang. Then it's Joel Embiid. And it's Maxi in at the two. That's the group in the game for the 76ers. Philadelphia has gone 7 of 15 from distance in this game. Pass to Embiid. Here's Niang. Shot no good. And it's Miami the other way. Here's Adebayo. And Adebayo slams it in. Oh, Adebayo's an aggressive player who plays with passion. Have to as an undersized center in this league. That's tipped. And that's out of bounds. It was last touched by Oladipo. And the 76ers making a change here. Harris is checked in. About one minute played here in the fourth quarter. Outside Harden. Here's Maxi. He's guarded by Hero. Four on the clock. And they'll get another chance. Here's Korkmaz. The shot, no good. Good D by Adebayo. Fast break. Here come the Heat for three. Lowry. Rebounded by James Harden. For Philadelphia, they've gone 0 for 3 in this fourth. Not good. Harris passes to Harden. Give him that one. Now shooting 5 for 11 from the floor. Well, he's been a different player here in the second half. Looking much more comfortable on the offensive end. Miami's gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Lowry to pass to Oladipo. We're about two minutes into the fourth now. Well done on the glass. Gets himself in position where he can use his size. Here's Harris. It's kept alive. They shoot again. Good D by Adebayo. The Heat have gone one of four since the fourth quarter began. Oladipo, the pass to Hero. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the 76ers. So far, they've turned in a fantastic performance from the three-point line. It's been a weapon all game. Something else they've done a lot tonight is take advantage of any gaps in the D with quick, aggressive drives down the lane. And the first one at the line is good. Thibel, he's checked in for Korkmaz. Jimmy Butler's checked in for Miami. Robinson comes in for Lowry. Both shots good from the strike. Philadelphia's got seven of their 16 three-point attempts to go in. Out to the right wing. Embiid inside. Working on Adebayo. Out of bounds. It'll be Miami's ball. We're in the fourth quarter here. Just under two and a half minutes gone by. Butler passes to Hero. Robinson with it. Butler up top to take the lead. Miami, no good that time either. The 76ers shooting about 43% on this one. Pass to Harden. And Harden with the slam. A guy like Harden makes a coach look really good. I mean, you can rely on him to consistently give you big scoring performances. Now here's Hero. Now here's Adebayo. Tucker inside. Pounded by Harris. Tucker, no good. To the paint. MB good. Now it's a four-point Philadelphia lead. You like Embiid's confidence and willingness to step up in the big moment. Hero finds Butler. Shot 
Clock at five. Back to Hero. Miami, no good that time either. Every possession counts for them right now. That's not going to get it done. Pass to Embiid. Here's Maxi. Harden with it. From deep. And the 76ers get it back. And he comes up with a bucket. Embiid's got four points this quarter. You see why they go to Embiid in close. I mean, he's more than capable of getting it in the hoop. Time called here. Miami decides to talk it over. They're behind by six. A minute 50 left in the fourth quarter. And now let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game, Joel Embiid. <laughs> he's been unguardable in this one. Getting whatever he wants out there. He's just simply putting the offense on his back and delivering. The Heat making a switch here. Lowry's checked in and keeping us updated from the sideline. Allie LaForce. Well, over the break, I listened in on Eric Spolster's huddle. He told them, we've got to protect the rim with everything we've got. If we cut down on their easy looks inside, we've got them. It might mean more room for their perimeter shooters, but that's a trade-off he's willing to risk. All right, back to you guys. Okay, good stuff. Thank you, Allie. Butler with the bucket. And Butler not afraid of having the ball in his hands in these big moments. He's the guy that you can count on to get it done in the clutch. Harden can't hit. The Heat have got two of eight shots to drop in the final quarter. Pass to Butler. Lowry outside. Off the mark there with a three. The Sixers leading. And Thibel with a drive. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Matisse Thibel. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. And the Heat making a change here. Heroes checked in. And he misses the second one as well, so 0 for 2 that time. Adebayo passes to Butler. Here's the teardrop, and it's blocked by Embiid. Look at how well Embiid uses his size on defense there, swatting down the shot and doing it with authority. Harden against Hero. Carries it. Man, they're getting a fantastic effort from James Harden right now. And it's the Heat with the ball. Now Butler. And he's going for the lob! And finished off by Adebayo. And look how explosive Bam can be. Defenses can't do anything to stop him on the alley-oop. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. And Embiid throws it down. What confidence from Joel Embiid. Knocked that one down in a clutch situation. Now a timeout called by Miami. They're trailing by four. 26 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Twenty-six seconds left in the game. Butler finds Lowry. Now here's Butler. Not a lot of room. He takes it in. Here's Tucker. And it's good. And he's brought them within two points now. <laughs> Great to see guys who don't back down under pressure. Cool, calm, collected, and confident in the biggest moment of the game. Yes getting a little desperate at this stage. I mean, the clock's the big factor. That's a good foul, though. I like that. I mean, clock management crucial at this time of the game. And so both free throws good. And it's a four-point ball game. Unflappable. This guy relishes being the man to put the game away. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Butler. Five ticks left in the fourth. And an intentional foul there stops the clock. Tyrese Maxey. He hits the first one. And that puts him up five. Five. 
So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a six-point ball game. So it's Philadelphia picking up the win. And they start out the postseason with a bang, a big-time victory. The attitude they came out with was aggressive. They wanted to set the tone from the jump, and they did just that. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? James, I'd love to know whether it's scoring, playmaking, or your defense, what aspect of your game are you most proud of? Being able to play a full course of a game and, uh, you know, and make an impact every single play. Uh, that's what I'm here for, and uh, that's what I have to do. It's been fun to watch. All right, Allie, thank you. For Allie LaForce, Clark Kellogg, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you.